Hey guys, welcome back to another AI video and in this video we are gonna learn how to change the light source of any images like this. Now workflows like these are really helpful in terms of post-production especially if you are into any like creative photography sort of space. So the workflows we're gonna be exploring are from this user over here. Big shout out to him for providing us with those workflows and we're gonna be exploring comfy UI IC light models over here. So if you're familiar with Photoshop or any image manipulation software, you might be familiar with these concepts. But what this workflow does is essentially it makes it really easy to manipulate the photos in post-processing. You can do that with a single click. So all the workflows are going to be available here in the examples and you're going to want to download all of these PNG files. Now each of these PNG files carries the workflow in it. So we're just going to essentially drag and drop this in our Comfy UI workspace. So let's load up our Comfy UI now. Okay, so I have my Comfy UI loaded up and ready to go over here and I'm just going to drag and drop the image I've downloaded on over here. So when you do this first time, a lot of nodes are going to be red. That is because you won't have those nodes installed on the Comfy UI workspace. What you're going to want to do is you can go to Comfy UI Manager, click on Install Missing Custom Nodes, and a bunch of nodes will show up over here. You can just check them all and click on Install. Right now, I have installed all of those missing custom nodes, so that's why it's not showing any nodes for me. There's one more small step you want to do over here, which is to install the model itself. So how you can install this is uh, you can go to Comfy UI Manager again and install Model Manager. And you're going to want to write in IC Light. And I have installed all three of these. You can just install all of these as well. After that, you're going to want to restart the Comfy UI workspace and everything should work just fine. Okay, so I have loaded up an image over here and what you want to do in this node image resize over here is you want to change the method to key proportion. So that way it will be independent of whatever uh, aspect ratio your image has over here. And next up, you're going to want to uh, choose the model. So we're going to choose the FPC one and you're going to want to use checkpoint. You can use any checkpoint you have available. But for this one, I'm going to use realistic vision. And let's click on uh, Q prompt and see the results. Okay, so now you can see the workflow has created a beautiful depth map of the image, which means that it recognizes it it's successful in converting the 2D image onto a 3D uh, sort of plane. And after that, it has applied uh, light from different sources onto the 3D model. And as you can see, the results are really good. So let's explore a bit on how this more workflow is working. So first of all, it takes our uh, raw image and it removes the background from this image. As you can see over here, so this is the image without the background. And after that, it's creating four different uh, light sources or gradients for the image and it, then it applies those gradients one by one onto the image to create this effect. Now you can play around with these gradients. There's an entire library in Comfy UI to uh, create different sorts of gradients. So you can play around with these gradients and see the different results here in this image. Now we're going to try one more image. So I'm going to change the image now. And let's see what results we are able to get with this image now. So I'm going to click on Q. And as you can see, it has removed the background from this image. And the gradients are going to be the same because I have, you can change the value of these gradients or even the color of these gradients from these settings over here. But I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. Now it's at on the QA sampler. Let's wait for the results to come in. And the results are in now. You can see it has done a very beautiful job of, of turning our 2D image into a 3D sort of plane. So as you can see those wrinkles on the shirt as well. And it has uh, applied these gradients on top of this image. Now you can see the uh, it, there's a light source from the left 
right and then from bottom now there are other workflows in these examples as well and I plan on making a detailed video on that but this was a really quick tutorial on this workflow it's really helpful if you are into any uh, post-production or any sort of photography space where you need to manipulate the images after they have been captured thank you so much for watching the video and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section down below and till next time peace